works in an AP department at local furniture mart. Due to high volume of accounts payable invoices, he's always falling behind on keying in those invoices. His manager is always asking him about his overtime hours every week. But wait, there is a solution to this problem. Build and scan AP invoices or take pictures of expense receipts and submits them to Payable Box. Key data fields required for accounting are extracted and integrated with accounting software. Bill is very happy that he is able to save time and money with Payable Box. Pretty light-hearted, simple story, right? But let's back up a little bit and look at Bill's initial issue, which was AP processing. Once we look at his issue, the story may not be as lighthearted as you think. And in order for us to find out what Bill, how he processes invoices, we have to look at the market standard. So generally, invoices received, usually through snail mail, uh, it's alphabetized, sorted, put into um, uh, priority bins, and then it's manually put into the company's spreadsheet, then it's manually put into the company's accounting system, then it's manually stored. You see the common thread here? Manual processing. And it doesn't come cheap. According to Esker Kofax, an outsourcing leading consulting firm, it can cost companies up to $15 to, to process one invoice. So we did a case study with SMU's accounts payable department, and they're processing around 43,000 invoices a year. Now, let's not even use that Esker Kofax amount. Let's scale it back. Let's just say $12 an invoice. Still means that SMU's process, their processing cost is over half a million dollars a year. And they have about 30,000 active vendors. Now, that's one institution, great institution, uh, in one city, in one state. Now, think of, just extrapolate that. Who else is doing this? Who else is going through what SMU is going through? Actually, a lot of companies. Over 89% of the companies in the US are processing their invoices manually. So what seems like a very basic solution to you and I, hey, just automate this process, make it simple. No one's doing it right now. So that's where Payable Box comes in. Good afternoon, my name is Shahid Ijaz. This is my partner, Andy Singh, and we're pro uh, proposing to you Payable Box. Payable Box is a cloud-based content management solution uh, that focuses on, focuses on uh, the addressing the time-consuming, costly nature of manual processing by, by introducing a fast, efficient, automated solution. How does it work? An invoice comes in, it gets either emailed or scanned into Payable Box's portal. We, on the back end, configure Payable Box with our customer's accounting system requirements, and then extract the data from those scanned documents to meet those requirements. Once that data is extracted, it's updated into the Payable Box's customer portal, where AP managers can verify and approve the data. After that data is approved, it automatically goes into the company's accounting software with a click of a button. Now, in addition to ERP integration, you also have cloud storage, and you also have analytics and reporting. Palebox has a user-friendly interface. For example, a, a field employee can pretty much take a picture of an expense receipt, and it automatically, he's, he's automatically able to submit his expense report on the go, really quick, just like that. No more paper processing, no more paper filing. What this does, it makes the front end really simple, where, you, where employees can integrate the system. And on the back end, at the same time, the invoice and uh, expense receipts are synced into the accounting system of a company. Now, I've talked about AD op AP automation a lot, but that's not what everything Payable Box does. We are a complete spend management solution. In addition to AP automation, we also have content management, which has cloud-based storage. Also, expense report management, where it allows you to submit your expense reports on the go. Looking at our roadmap, we're ahead of schedule. We're making strides. We're already complete with data storage and analytics. And we will be complete with our IDR technology. 
in the middle of April. Our goal for the next six months is to have the ERP integration, expense management, credit card and bank integration, and auto match. Our phase two is going to involve procurement. Once that's complete, we want Payablebox to be the next complete solution to spend management. I keep harping on the word complete, and that's because we're the only company that's taken this comprehensive approach towards spend management. Our competitors are taking very piecemeal approaches to this. The ones tackling the cloud storage part, ones cloud tackling the expense management part, but there's no one out there that's taken this comprehensive approach like we have. You can have a great product, but if the market's saturated, then it's not a great product. But a software as a service uh, uh, model, it's continually growing. It was a $10 billion industry in 2010, projected to be over a $40 billion industry in 2016. Within it, the content management revenue is also growing. It's going to be a, a near $10 billion industry in 2016. That's where we come in. There's definitely a pain point, there's awareness. Companies know they need help with this, and we have that product that no one else does. That's a recipe for success. Looking at our pricing model, we're doing it from all the way from a do-it-yourself free that allows five scans a month, all the way to a business model which allows to you to scan up to 500 documents a month. We took that pricing model and valued our company with it. Uh, even if we took a very conservative approach with a 10% churn rate, we're lo still looking at a very healthy dose of uh, net cash benefit to company by year three and 579,000. We're very excited with the customers we have today. We love, for th we love them, we're growing with them, we're learning with them. But we're exceptionally excited about the companies of tomorrow. SMU, when we were interviewing them, they were very, very interested in our product. They're actually out there seeking a solution for this process. They realize there's a pain point and they're looking for this. Additionally, IDC Westinghouse is an off-brand of Honeywell. They are going through the same issues as SMU and the other 90% of the companies. They are seeking out, they need help. Uh, we have a great team to do this. Indy and I are both MBAs, strategists, project management backgrounds. And uh, Apul is our CTO with over 10 years of engineering background. We're taking a very uh, lean approach to this. Nothing we make goes back uh, to us, it goes back into the company. We're uh, asking for a $100,000 investment uh, for, that's only going to go towards software development cost and marketing. And we're very excited about this. We know that Payablebox is going somewhere and we want you to join us. Uh, help bring Payablebox to life. Thank you. Is it better? Yeah. Better, yeah. What's the current size of your development team? Uh, yeah, so right now we're, we outsource our development. Uh, so a pool is pretty much overlooking uh, someone that we've overseas outsourced, and it's a team of three people that are helping us design this. Uh, but we will definitely need, our goal is to have a one full-time staff member in the U.S. that we can manage that can, that, so I definitely know that, that having one person along with the other three people overseas and a pool, that's something that we can uh, move forward with the, with the road plan that we have. And um, there's the, uh, the free doc scanner, can you explain that? Is that an actual physical device? Yeah, so what it is, it's, uh, n you know, nothing we're doing here is new, right? That the free doc scanner exists, um, Expensify, Shoebox, all those companies that I showed you do part of everything that we're doing. FreeDoc Scanner, it's a great device. You just scan an item and it actually shows you a PDF version, you know, and all that stuff. But what we're proposing is a, is a we, we want to be the next sales force of the AP side, right? We want this whole complete spend management to where a company comes in, a, a vendor comes in trying to sell to SMU. SMU is going to be like, oh, are you part of Payablebox? 
And if you are, then they can link things together. So we want to be that complete solution as opposed to just saying, well, this, the scanner is doing what you do. Well, there, it's not because we're doing a lot more. And that, that's where we feel that uh, that's where our core value is. We're, we're differentiating from what others do because they're doing it very piecemeal. So I'm confused because uh, integrating a PDF into um, even if it's QuickBooks, you're going to have a lot of scanning issues. So I think you're maybe dismissing that a bit too much. Scanning issues, can you? So if you scan into a PDF file, that's step one. That's easily done. Uh -huh. Taking a PDF and mapping it into what are the required fields for literally hundreds of accounting systems, that's a big, big hurdle. Well, we, our goal is to not sell just one-stop product. Our goal is to sell a tailored product. So we are going to go interview our potential customers, see how they're doing it, see what software they're using for their accounting, and um, hopefully uh, during the reception, Andy can uh, elaborate on this, uh, but we want our software developers to be able to go and see the whole, uh, to kind of tailor our, we, we want our customers to be our tenants, pretty much to where we are complying with exactly what they have, tailored service for what they have, and not just sell them this one product that's supposed to fit into everything. So your most expensive level was what, 250 or, th or higher? Uh, 350. Okay, 350, so you're talking 4250 a year? So. And how are you gonna afford to even acquire the customer? Well, the thing is, it's, that's up to five users. Uh, so we're obviously coming up with different approaches how we can charge our customers when they have more users. So maybe charge on, on, the, on the setup side, maybe a sub sort of a setup fee, and then just keep this, uh, this low monthly amount next to it. Um, getting back to the technology, how much of it do you actually have to develop versus can you go to open source and integrate other people's products, so to speak? Uh, so I mean, we're, we have a, a hosting thing for the cloud side, uh, but as far as, um, uh, again, I, I wish we had a, a developer here to answer some of these questions. But we are pretty much trying to, um, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going to look into see how, if, if we're, if we're going to, if we're going to integrate anything or if we're going to develop everything from start. Uh, but right now, we're at that, that cloud storage part, uh, and that's something that we've, um, that, that we have a host site for. Thank you.